Always a pleasure to have Tony House in studio with us. Uh, so many different titles I could put <laughs> to your name, but we're talking the uh, the kaleidoscope. Uh, Bell Kaleidoscope of Hope, and interesting because we have the big gala that's that's going to come back to town uh, in late October. But there's actually an interesting launch that you're doing uh, this evening, and kind of encompassing and kind of getting people talking about, it, especially with the week that we're seeing right now. Give us a rundown as to what's in store for people tonight. Yeah, tonight we're launching. I mean, we've talked about uh, this is a single one-night event, but the cause of, of, of fighting teen mental health, bringing awareness, and, and obviously suicide prevention is a, is a 365-day-a-year initiative. So we're just trying to do our part uh, today. Well, last year we actually had a private screening of the movie Bully, and we had 200 people out. So we're just trying to get people aware of what's going on. Tonight we're actually, we flew in um, Mike, Mike Farrell and Sean Peak, who, are, who Sean is the brother of uh, James Peak, who an amazing story. It's on YouTube. Check it out. Talk to me. Uh, you know, bring Kleenex with you because it's just one of those stories where this kid, uh, you know, James had a, an unbelievable life. A good-looking kid looked like everything was going, you know, going great, and then all of a sudden. You know, uh, he was fighting some some demons, as 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 a lot of teens do, and and took his own life. So we're having them share their story. But the feature is amazing. We're going to have uh, Counselor Alan Hubley talk about uh, what where the kids are and actually um, where they are uh, following up the bully premiere. So mm -hmm. some good news that's come really out of so, this. So people who were introduced to that to that movie and introduced to Bully and the reaction and what has happened since since viewing that. Yeah, you'd be you'd be surprised. Alex, if you've seen the movie, Alex and and uh, and, and Kelby, both are sort of like rock stars for the mm -hmm. Bully. So they've actually empowered them, made them sort of heroes, and 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 are inspiring people to to just talk. And I think that's the big thing when you look at Talk to Me. That's I think we just want to communicate and, and really air what our issues are with the teens. Uh, I think we're looking at footage right now because I, you know, th there were two different versions. I, I went and watched the two-minute trailer and was already tearing up uh, watching a two-minute trailer. And I know that the full piece is 24 minutes, and, and there's a look yeah. at him right, right there. I mean, and as you were saying, good-looking, had everything going, friend, athletic, yeah. you know. So there's a lot of things that that will encompass. So tonight, I know it's it's by invite only, and you've got a, a, a you know a good number of people and very high profile, I think, yeah. too, in terms of getting the discussion going. And is this almost the, the launch into the, the campaign and understanding where we're building forward towards October? Yeah, I think we, it's any time we can bring this up. Uh, we have uh, Miss Lorraine Harper involved. She's an honorary uh, event chair. She did it last year. She's very committed. She's now part of uh, an, another website called NeedHelpNow.com. CA. So we've got a, a pretty strong, and you know, you're involved with Youth Services Bureau. I, I think anything we can do to just help our youth deal with the pressures, and if we can help them deal with them in the teens, then you know, hopefully it will uh, will, will, will slim down the actual adult depression. So I think these are our future leaders, and uh, they go through so much technology and, and society. It's just a fast-paced uh, world we live in, and. You know, if we could help them in any way we can, the gala is sort of the culmination of the efforts of a lot of people uh, throughout the year. Right. So you have, I mean, right, and, and you're kind of launching it, uh, launching it tonight, getting the conversation started. How can people help right now? I know, you know, it's not about going to the event tonight, but how can people get involved and 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 be behind this? This yeah. movement, I, I honestly think yeah. it's almost like this movement that we've had, especially since the DIFD started. It has been an, a, a topic of discussion ever since. So, are you still looking for sponsors, for invitees, for guests, yeah. for what are you looking All for? Of it. <laughs> All of the uh, above. Kaleidoscopeofhope.ca, mm -hmm. and uh, you know you can donate online. And uh, we've uh, we're proud to have all three charities: Youth Services Bureau, CHEO, and DIFD, all under our, our umbrella. And those are the three major players uh, in 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 dealing with teen mental health. We want to bring awareness, and we want to uh, prevent uh, teen suicide. We want to get those numbers down and and eliminate them to zero. But it's a it's a work in progress. Was it easy to get them to come in? I mean, I know they're 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 making the trip from Toronto tonight, but uh, to be able to say how they put the story together and when you come come from the person who's putting producing a video to the people who are in it it's 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 very interesting yeah it is interesting because mike farrell is a producer and now he's he's a, he's in front of the camera and it's a personal project for him he was very good friends with the peak family sean the younger brother who's coming in uh, it's a it's a labor of love for him and uh, i just think uh, you want to you got to be careful because you're elevating a, a, a real personal cause and you don't want to glorify it. But at the end of the day, if you can, I mean, it, it's what the Richardson, it's what everybody's right. doing, the Hoobleys, the Richardsons. If you can reduce those numbers and help and share 
what went on, I think that's just a, it's a win-win for everybody. So we're pretty, pretty pleased to have them involved. Tonight. Kaleidoscope of Hope.ca if you're looking for more information, especially as we're heading towards the uh, the big gala Saturday, October 26th. I couldn't say, so I'm just under now learning. Yeah. I, I would have normally said the Hampton is when the big gala is. They've changed, they've changed the name? Yes, they have to the Ottawa Conference and Event Center. So, Ottawa Conference. Now we get to do that venue. with the Ottawa Convention Center. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, is going to be a confuse. ton of fun. Yeah, don't so confuse. But that'll be do a, a great the job. We're really happy. It's the second year we've yeah. done that, so we're, we're, we're really pumped. Perfect. Well, you and your wife have done a great <laughs> yeah, job with so you. many of the charities here in our city.